Magnus was chosen as one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world. Gary Kasparov writes that if Carlson can rekindle the world's fascination with the royal game, we will soon be living in the Carlson era. I am pleased to have Magnus Carlson at this table. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to have you here. We just somebody brought this in, uh, and we will maybe have you show us something. But but more importantly, I think it is that. Why do you think you are so good? What is it that about you? What is it about your experience? What is it about your game? Um, I really, really wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe I will uh, in you know uh, twenty, thirty years uh, when I'm older and and wiser. Um, right now, I I know that. Um, you know, I, I've spent a lot of yeah, time on chess, right. obviously, and I've developed a feeling for the game. Uh, I calculate well and so on. But there are also many others who put in the same same hours, have have the same dedication. So uh, it's it's hard to say. Uh, but uh, w- what I do know is that the game somehow comes naturally, na- naturally, naturally to, to me. You. Yeah. When did you discover that? Um, I think. Uh, uh, pretty early on, um, I um, you know I, I was spending a lot of of time on on chess and uh, and somehow I, I kept uh, improving uh, at a high rate while um, the other uh, you know players at, at my age that I was competing against you were uh, beating all of them and moving ahead. Yes, exactly. And then uh, and it you know it was always uh, fun and and uh, while not effortless. Nevertheless, you know, uh, things were going well. Yeah. What is it about chess you love? Um, it's hard to say. <laughs> um, I, I I do know that uh, once once I got into chess, I, I was really fascinated by the game, and I spent, uh, you know, uh, a lot of time on it simply because that's what I love to do. Uh, I don't know what it was about it. Yeah. I, I, I really don't know. But it but is a great th- – what's interesting about chess is that you can go and quickly recall all the great games that have been played in the history of chess. Yeah, that, that's that's the great thing thing uh, about chess that, uh, you know, there are other changing circumstances, but uh, it's, you know, it, it's always uh, the same, so we can always uh, – Although you know the possibilities are are endless, you you can always you know write it down and uh, and the games will be preserved for for eternity, both for learning and other. other when you put purposes. your hand on the piece, yes. I mean, what do you feel? And, and and as you think about the move you're about to make, I mean, does it feel more than just moving a piece of wood, or does it feel, in a sense, like you're a general in a battlefield, you know, and you are making a strategic choice yeah i mean i don't know i I think uh one thing is you you can really tell for from um whether you know uh, players are um professionals or or, uh or not by the way they move they move their pieces by the way show me what a professional does no i mean before before the game you would kind of adjust the pieces so that you know everything's in harmony yes uh um, and and that the pieces are more or less in the middle of the squares. Yeah. So Looking at yours are so perfectly placed. Yes. Yeah. So you set this board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's like when when I move a piece, like I would, you know, do it very quietly and uh, put it right right in the yeah. middle of the square. And, and of course, uh, there you know, there's usually a, a plan with with. Uh, what I do, and I, I try to direct direct my pieces so that they work together in, in harmony. That's that's very important. Uh, can you your best matches you can replay in your mind instantly? Uh, yeah, more more or less. More or less, and and great great games in which you know, imposing champions have played against each other. I assume you can replay those as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can. I, I might not remember every yeah. single move, but I, I'll remember, you know, the critical positions and uh, uh, the general, uh, uh, 
you know mm. uh, the general feeling of, of the game, what, what what happened there, and uh, and so on. There's a great hope in you that is. Kasparov has suggested that somehow you carry the possibility of igniting a new interest in chess. Do you feel that? Um, uh, I don't know, but I, I think it's a very exciting prospect yeah. because, uh, I, I, I mean, I wasn't around for the Bobby Fischer era. But Boy, it was intense. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I could, you know, be part of something... Uh, you know, even remotely uh, similar to that, that would be that would be great. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to do is is just uh, you know um, play well and and try try to inspire people as much as I can. The Guardian said about you: uh, his style is harmonious, uniquely versatile, and backed up by a fierce will to win. That yeah. resonates with you. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I've always been competitive, competitive. and. Uh, uh, I, I never liked losing. I never thought that losing is a natural part of the game, and I think that's that's the way it has to be if you want want to be and the if, best. And if it's a very tough com- opponent, yeah, um, and you say the word checkmate. Well, I, I won't actually say the word checkmate, but when my, you know... Yeah. They, You'll say check and... You know. And they, they will realize, you know, that's yeah. it. That's and you can so see weird. it in their face. Yeah, that's uh, um, that, that's a good feeling, obviously. But, <laughs> but I mean, for me, what's even more yeah. satisfying is is the battle uh, leading up to the point where you you're gaining an advantage. Your uh, the route to the advantage. Yes, uh, and your opponent is uh, uh, spending a lot of time making faces. Uh, and you know, you know that that He's, you got him. You know so, they're struggling. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I mean, I mean that's in, in a way the most satisfying, more than than the end, which, which is often you know a matter of uh, wrap, wrapping up. Yeah, wrapping up. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about this fact that some people call you the Mozart of chess? Creative, brilliant. Um, you know. Young, um, you know, uh, the master of all that he sees. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think um, um, you know, it, it's not the worst person to be compared no, to. No, that's sure. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think you know, uh, also Mozart ha- had a very uh, natural talent for for what uh, he he was doing. Yeah. Um, and like me, I think he he practiced a lot from 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 an early age. So uh, and uh, and and that's you know eventually uh, that that's what you do. You you learn you learn everything there is to learn, and then you start to to invent yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kasparov again said that that you have a way of strangling your opponent. Yeah, I, as it, as it. <laughs> no, it, it's uh, you know that's again that's that's very satisfying to me when when you're you know your you know your plan plan is working. It might not, it might not be, you know, immediately decisive, but you're just uh, piling up the threats. Yeah, you can uh, you can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it, and that that's that's you know that that's the way I, I like like to play, and that's the way I try to. To, to yeah. Here's what's interesting to me too. Your world is within these boundaries. Yes. This is where your world is. Well, that's 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 um, you know what, what I do. Yeah. This is what you do. Yeah. And how the question is how long can you do it? Because you've said a very interesting thing. You know, when you cannot play at a certain level, you will not want to play. Uh, I mean that that's yeah that's um, my feeling right now anyway. So. I, I, I think that I will play until I, I, I start. You know, I, I lose motivation, and yeah. that that that's very important to me. And I think if I come to a point where I feel that I cannot perform, you know, at a very high level anymore, uh, that it won't might be fun or interesting. Yeah, or it, anything. It, it will do something with motivation. Yeah, so. it'll do motivation. So, can you, and if you can, how take the game to another level? You know, do you have the capacity to create moves 
to do things with the, on a chessboard that have not been done before? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I have... Already you know, the, done that? No, but I have the utmost respect for, for the masters of the past. And they've, you know, they've uh, uncovered uh, um, many of the secrets in chess. So I think for me, my, my main task is just to try and make slight improvements on that, you know, to amass all, all the knowledge and, and try to uh, all the time uh, you use that and, 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 and improve a little bit. So I don't know yet if I'll be able to <laughs> do something revolutionary uh, about the but game. But that would be a grand ambition, wouldn't it? Uh, th that um, it would, and it's not uh, an ambition I have yet. Uh, as, as for now, I'm, you know, satisfied just trying to move it uh, a little bit, little bit yeah. ahead uh, in, in, in small steps, and I think that would be a great thing as well. How will you prepare for Anon? Um, I, I don't know, because um, um, I think a lot of the things that I, I'm doing right now are, are working out. Uh, I think that's fair to say. <laughs> yes, so it is. Uh, I'll try not to... Just continue what you're doing uh, and extend Yeah, and, and, and make some small improvements, be a little bit sharper in the openings, uh, be a little bit better physically prepared, be a little bit uh, better at, at everything, and try also not to, to over-focus on, on preparation. Just you'll, to, you'll know him, like, you'll, yeah, everything I, about him you'll yeah, know. I, I you'll know where, you're inside his head. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think he will do... Um, you know, he will do the same. The, the only difference is that, is that it won't be enough. <laughs> he does not have enough to beat you. Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's my belief that I, can, that I can beat anyone and otherwise there wouldn't be any point in me playing the match. <laughs> you believe, how long will it take you to beat him? Um, you know, uh, I think um, the length of the match will probably be 12 games. Uh, so it's first to six and a half points. So um, if I get there in the end, I'm going to be very happy <laughs> no matter how long it takes. Show me, and just the, the magic of the game, there's lots of talk about an opening. Yeah. You know, let's assume that I'm, I play a little bit of chess, but talk to me about the significance of the opening and, and because there are classical openings that carry the names of great chess masters. Mm -hmm. No, I think um, you know. Uh, in, in the opening, it's it's uh, important to. Um, I mean, with the modern computer age, uh, there are there are some new ideas and such, but the principles are basically the same. That in the opening, you should try to uh, control as many as the, of the central squares as possible, yeah. because from the center you can more easily maneuver to either side. And, uh, so chess is about owning the center? Yeah, I mean, the, um, mo most of the time it is. Uh, like, you know, in, in a battlefield, if you, if you can see f to, from, to each side, you, you can control everything more easily. While if you're stuck, stuck on a flank, you're much more vulnerable. Hmm. Do you read uh, beyond chess? Do you read history of... Napoleon, history of great battles. Does that have any fascination for you? Uh, yeah, I, I did read uh, when I was um, probably eight, nine years old. I, I read uh, a lot about uh, Napoleon. Maybe not not for so much for chess strategy as just I, I thought it was uh, An interesting. interesting dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, w whatever whatever he he did. I mean, was was obviously not. Not cool, uh, but but uh, as uh, but an interesting figure in history. Absolutely. Now you have on your jacket there, VG here, Arctic here, uh, Simonson there. Yes. Um, are you a walking, talking, advertising machine? Um, no, it's just um, you know these these are my my sponsors, yeah. and I'm um, proud to to be involved with them and. Uh, and, um, you know, I think um, chess doesn't have that many uh, corporate 
sponsors yeah. and, and uh, for for there to be uh, a good circuit of tournaments, world champions, and so on, we need mm. corporate sponsors. So that's uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, you really are carrying. I mean, the Carlson era, in fact, will be here if, in fact, you are, are able to do all the things that people expect you to be able to do. So the idea of of getting ready for a match, you know, as confident as you are. Uh, do you play with? I mean, do you, do, how, will Kasparov add to that preparation, or has uh, he already done what he can do to make you as good as you are? I mean, I, I will. I will certainly ask Gary for for advice, and actually, I already have, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and because he has such great experience, and yeah. because he's he, pretty good, uh, yeah, and of course, he's such a wonderful player as well. Yeah. So, um, but I asked you to name the greatest players in the world, and you didn't name him. No, but. You asked me to, to um, as I saw it, to, to, to name the most naturally talented players. Oh, yeah, players. That's okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's a very nice yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, one for you. <laughs> uh, for the greatest players of all time, there's no doubt in my mind that Gary, Gary is the best. Uh, but, but he had, you know, the unique combination. He had a lot of talent, but he also worked uh, extremely hard, um, all his life, uh, and he probably st- still works more on chess than. Uh, and now he's got a political career in the. Yes, but he still, you know, he still loves the game. He and still has it. Um, it's been a few years since I've played with him, but <laughs> I, I, I can tell you that uh, five years after he retired, he was still, you yeah. know, damn strong. <laughs> so, at what point could you take him? Um, One year after he retired, two years after he retired. Before you retired, I, I don't know. I think um, um, you know me right now, and and Gary at his peak. That would be uh, an immensely interesting. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> I mean that, that. So that would be it. That would be it, wouldn't it? The greatest player in the world, which you've said he was. Yeah. Just you know, I asked you, and you said so others had more natural ability. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but creative. But you, <laughs> yeah, <sure>. you, you, <laughs> what? You would like to? I mean, that would be a you yeah. Know, to uh, think in your head about you know him at his best and me at my best. That would be some match. Yeah, and it would also be a clash of uh, of style. Um, because um, you know him, him at his best. He was so, um, you know, he was not a strangling type of player. <laughs> he, he, he was he, what? Then? He was the knockout kind of kind of guy. So, <laughs> so explain the difference in that, because you obviously know it. Yeah, it, it's more like I, I try to wear my my opponents down, gradually rob them of any uh, active play, and and win. <laughs> And it's when a eventually sl- it's a slow death, isn't it? Yeah, and and he, I mean, he could do that as well, yeah. obviously. But uh, he was so strong in the opening, and and he he played so aggressively and with such power that his opponents often crumbled much before uh, a slow death uh, started to become an issue. So why don't you adopt his style? Um, because we have different kinds of of uh, chess talent, I think. Talent. Yeah. Yeah. So, how would you describe characterize the difference in the talent? No, it's 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 like the talent. I mean, not the results, but the talent. No, it's just that I, I have a, a great talent uh, naturally for for uh, um, what you might call positional chess, uh, mm-hmm. and he's he for more attacking, uh, aggressive chess, and uh, I mean. Again, we I think we both can do uh, a bit, bit a bit you of could, both, you. but uh, yeah. um, you know that that's the definite Maybe. strength, and I think that comes, you know, from from talent, how how you were brought up, how you were taught to to approach the game. And do you believe that it has anything to do with the fact that you're from Norway and he's from Russia? Um, it might, it might. Uh, so. Or it might have someone who teach who taught you early too, might. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. So I mean, but it's also with his character that that's you know that's that's the way. Yeah, he's, he not, is. he's not a shrinking violet, as they say. No. <laughs> but you, but all of every champion has to have confidence. You yeah. have to look at the board. I mean, I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth, but it seems to me they come 
to define you. You got to look at the board, as you said about Anon. I'm going to take you down. <laughs> this is going to happen. Yeah, but no, but th that's the way it is. I think you you need to be absolutely confident, yeah. and uh, I think it's it's o always better to be overly confident than pessimistic. Because I I realize sometimes after games that you know. Uh, I was actually way too confident here. Uh, I was way too optimistic. But if you're not optimistic, if you're not looking for your chances, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss opportunities. Uh, and um, you know, um, uh, I, I mean, I, I think there are there are plenty of uh, players in history who have been, you know, uh, immensely talented. But there's. Uh, they're, they're just too pessimistic. They see too many uh, dangers that are not there and, and so on, so that they cannot perform uh, see, that's very at a very high level. They see dangers that are not there, yeah. so therefore they don't play at the highest level. Yeah. No, it's, it's just... Uh, it, it's amazing. I, I realize from time, time to time, you know, people who are... Uh, not, not particularly strong players, but, but still... Uh, they're very good players, but they could be one of one of the best if they just, you know, had had more confidence. So, and and when I'm, you know, I'm analyzing with them, when I'm looking at chess, I realize, you know, they're, you know, they know everything about the game, but nevertheless, they cannot play. There's a missing thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a minute. It's like a winner's edge. Yeah, it's, you you know, you you need to have that. You you need to have that edge. You need to have that confidence. You need to have that, you know, absolute belief. Uh, that you're you're the best and you'll win every time. Were you born with that? Um, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you're born with something so that when you've learned chess, those two things merge. They yeah. came together. This yeah, confidence, and once you had the skills, uh, the confidence served the, your skill, and your skills served your confidence. Yeah, but it, it didn't come immediately for me. So, <laughs> what age did it come? Uh, I think it only came uh, a few years ago. Yeah. How old are you now? Um, I'm 22. 22, so I think at about age 16 or 17, I, I realized, you know, that I'm. Uh, but because I re you realized what? Uh, you know that I'm, I'm uh, probably uh, going to be the best at some point, and and I need to, I need to 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 show that I need to. Um, be more 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 confident and need to take a diff different approach B because before that sometimes i i would be um i would be uh, too too pessimistic yeah, like right. like i was describing like, the other uh, people yeah. yeah and uh you know at first that was uh that change in approach was a total disaster <laughs> because uh, I, I would lose several games because I would constantly overestimate my chances and so on. But eventually, that became a good thing because when when my playing strength caught up to my yeah. optimism. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's well that's said. <laughs> then that was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I love the idea that at sixteen, you knew uh, that I mean, you were going to be the world champion. Uh, you I, just I didn't. Knew. I didn't. No, but I had I had a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because you were beating everybody, or because you just no, it's just um, it's just a feeling feeling I had because uh, um, uh, before that I was always um, surprised at, at how far I, I, I was going, and then you know at at, at that point you know I, I realized that. Um, now it's time, you know, to... Yeah. You to must understand this. Now, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but um, you must understand this, uh, this following idea. Because of, of your talent first, uh, experience second, the way you look, your, your personality, uh, this could be huge. This could be huge. I mean, you could be... Uh, you are, but you can be an international figure of, of really in the world of chess, you know, incomparable. You know, uh, I, I hope so, both for, for myself and also and for the game. For, and for the game. Yeah. Um, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Magnus Carlsen.